Ooh. Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. Um, lots and lots and lots of things going on this week, so I want to. Um, I thought I would whiz through and give you a chance to tell me about what you might want to know a bit more about. Um, so, first things first, this is going to be a number of things. I'm just going to throw stuff at you. Um, see what you think. Okay, this is the Auden Austin from the Artist series uh, of Auden guitars. They are absolutely, utterly exquisite build. They're handmade. Um, I've talked to you a bit about them before. I've shown you more to do with the um, uh, Rosewood back and sided models. It's got the new Clark pickup system, uh, which you can see inside there. Three voices, um, each voice having a uh, three band EQ, insane pickup system, and this is the mahogany, like a grand auditorium model. As well as that, so I'm very excited about that. I want to do a video on that particularly. Um, we then have the beautiful Chester, which you probably know I'm a massive fan of. The Chester is a slightly bigger body. Oh, I didn't play it. So this is this is the Chester. Listen to that. And listen to how balanced that is. That is ridiculous. The way mahogany um, uh, rosewood gives you that detail and shimmer and shine. Mahogany. It's designed to be like a, such a, um, listen to that, it's so balanced, it's ridiculous. That's amazing. So that is the Chester in mahogany, beautiful mahogany, beautiful detail, the wood detailings are absolutely insane. Look at that. Ooh. That's incredible. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, back up there, Mr. Chester. Okay, so the Auden guitars. Big news, I wanna do, uh, I'll get those on the website as soon as I can. Oh. Next bit of news. Oh, lag, I've been talking about lag. This is the, I think it's called a 318. Uh, brand new guitar. So let me see if I've got the model code right. Uh, where's the model code? Yeah, 318. T318ACE. Now check out this. Uh, lovely uh, Fisherman pickup system. And here we have flamed oven coal. Back and sides. Look at that. That's incredible. It's a magnificent guitar. Um, lag, I love the finish, I love the build quality, there isn't a single, you know, n negative in terms of how they're built. Look at that, absolutely pristine, beautiful guitars. Love all the aesthetics, I love every aspect of them, and of course this is their sort of flagship one if you like, with the uh, flamed uh, open coal. 499, that's 499. Um, if 499's a bit much, then I think it's called Ka Ka Kaya? Kaya, um, check out this at 399. Look at that, I love, love the trims. 399, it's got an amazing pickup system on it. Um, bass, middle, treble, notch filter. Um, look at that, 399. You can't beat that, 399. Okay, so that's crazy. Now then, check out, this is really exciting stuff. This happened today. Okay, FGN guitars, FGN, Fuji Gen, made in Japan. Uh, the guys that have been making the top end uh, Ibanez, you know, you do, do some research on them. And these are utterly incredible. Um, this is from the J Standard series, which is their kind of middle, middle of the range in terms of their um, sort of semi-top. They, the, the, no, bang in the middle, I'd say, because they go up quite high up. Um, this one's got Seymour Duncan pickup. But the point being is, every single aspect of their guitars is utterly, utterly, insanely high quality. Insane. That guitar 
made in Japan, build quality which you simply, I mean I'd call it flawless. The, 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 the neck feels absolutely incredible, 699, okay, that's 699 guitar. That completely, utterly trashes anything I've ever had from G&L, which obviously I don't do anymore. Uh, I hate to say it, but Fret King, uh, clearly all the vintage guitars and stuff like that were just a complete. If you imagine a vintage guitar is nearly half the price of this, you know, you can buy a vintage guitar and they're about 3 350 territory. This is 699 and it is more than twice the guitar. You couldn't even begin to compare the two guitars. Let me show you a couple more. Well, in fact, what I'll do... What I'll do is I'll take you to the guitars, because there's quite a few. They've all arrived today. Hello. They've all arrived today. So let me show you. I'll take you through. Oh. Where are we? Let's see what's going on. Right. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. We're not talking about you today. Eastman. Oh, my babies. Sorry, Eastman. We're not talking about you. Okay. Going over to your brothers and sisters over here. Right, now then. FGM. So, I'm just going to whiz you through some of these. Okay, J Standard, um, Odyssey, that's the Odyssey. Everything, if you look at the finishing on all of these guitars, they're stunning. So, Seymour Duncan pickups, Seymour Duncan pickups. This is, now look, this one is their, in quotes, cheap model at 449. And I'm telling you now, they are absolutely incredible coil tap uh, but you can just see the finishing is stunning check out the uh, e uh, EMG's long scale length for your drop tuning um, that's active EMG's in there here's another one at 449 from the boundary series 449 for what is an absolutely ridiculous quality Telecaster style guitar so both of these guitars 449 super strap type thing Telecastry type style thing. Look at this, J standard here with the uh, humbucker in the neck. How cool is that? And the finishing, I'm telling you, is uh, the necks and the frets, they use what they call this circular fretting system. And what that does, it actually puts a slight curve in, in the neck of, in, in the fretwork to take into account the uh, intonation on the guitar. So, uh, what they are doing theoretically is taking into account the fact that the strings get wider as you go down the fretboard and the, the, the frets themselves accommodate that change in length, if you like, for each string. It's insane. And I'm telling you, they are simply magnificent guitars. So there you go. So that's FGN. Um, by the way, if you haven't seen the new Gordon Smith that have just come in, you should be watching my Facebook page and different things. That, look at this, ridiculous. That is flamed older, figured older. But it isn't just, look at the neck, hang on. This is crazy. I can't believe how many things are happening in this shop right now. That's because... We enjoy it. All right, let's see. Now, let's just see. Get it in the light, because you've got to see this in the light. Okay, now. Now, check out this. This is older. Have you ever seen older that looks like this? Now, it's not just the top. It's right through the body and right onto the back, because it's solid. It's one solid piece of figured older. Now, watch the neck. <laughs> That's maple. Two of the best bits of wood you're ever going to see on a guitar. Um, and I don't know, it's about 15 99 Handmade in England. What more do you want, guys? Support British building. Um, hang on. Ooh. I don't want to drop anything. Because then we've got this little baby here. Uh, spalted birch. Look at that, crazy. Oh my God, I've got to show you this one. Don't worry guys, well hopefully you're not getting bored because that's what you subscribe to, isn't it? To look at guitars, don't, 
Don't get bored. Don't get bored. This is why I want to just do a summary because there's so much going on. Now then, how the hell do I show you this? Because this is crazy. You're going to love this. Oh my God, where do we start? Okay. Okay, so it's a classic tea with tortoiseshell plate, okay? Now, see how we've got a chocolate roasted maple fretboard. Now, I'm hoping this is going to show because it's chocolate, right? So you don't necessarily see it straight away. And I'm not quite sure how well that will come out. Maybe if I show you on the reverse side, or maybe the headstock where it's gloss, you'll see it a bit more. Let's just see if that's going to come through. I'm not sure whether you're seeing that. It's a small monitor, so I can't really see. You should be able to see it on the back. Well, anyway, it's all highly figured, highly flamed, uh, chocolate roasted. Yeah, I can see it in the picture there. Hopefully you can too. Well, it will be on this. But I want you to see it on that side too. Because what happens is, it's all flamed all the way up. And that beautiful chocolate finish then kind of beautifully blends into the tortoiseshell plate. For me, this is one of the nicest classic T guitars I've ever had in my hands. It's, it's beautiful, plays like a dream. And if you want to see one of the nicest classic S's, it has to be this one. Now this is light. <laughs> it's, it's, oh my God, I just wish you could hear. It is so resonant, it's ridiculously resonant. Now look at the fretboard. This is again uh, honey roasted maple. But is that not, <laughs> that is insane. That is insane. And I'm telling you, this is the nicest playing, nicest feeling classic S I've ever had in the shop. And I just want them to try and recreate this every single time for me. Because I've got this one in the three single, and see how the powder pink, um, all of this is basically what I've asked for. Um, I just keep asking for stuff that I want. And this is the equivalent guitar. Um, now, I believe this one is Swamp Ash. Okay, I think that's what I spec on that. And I think it's that Swamp Ash body that is making that light and kind of like resonant. It, 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 it's insane. Now, this is slightly heavier, and I think this one's older. This one's slightly heavier, and it's older. Um, and it's got the chrome uh, pit guard. And again, you've got the figured flame maple neck and body. How beautiful is that? What? <laughs> Look at that. In that beautiful uh, powder pink finish. Um, if you're a traditionalist, I've just had this one come in again, which I love. Swamp Ash. It's terrible that a guitar this nice is now almost normal to me. Yeah, almost normal, but I still get excited when I see them because they're so beautiful. Um, now then, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, the Gordon Smith uh, little patch. I've had, I've had other stuff, but I can't show you absolutely every single guitar that's come in. Another bit of really, really important news then. Let's see if I can sit down on the side of this thing. Oh, maybe not. Oh. There we go. Another bit of really, really important news is Loudon. Sheeran guitars. Sheeran guitars, I'm expecting 32 Sheeran guitars this week followed by another eight shearing guitars. So I'm expecting approximately 40 shearing guitars, um, most of which are all sold. So nearly all of those are sold. Um, how we all fit them in, I have no idea, um, but it's incredibly exciting and um, I can't wait to see those. Clearly, as soon as the, I'll, between everything else, I'll try and do a, a video so that you get to see uh, those. Now then, and to finish off, because I'm conscious of the fact that even though I try to do that really quickly, it's already 15 minutes. If you got bored and haven't watched through, well, you won't, you'll miss this. Uh, maybe I'll do a separate video. But look, um, to summarise, it's a gift for somebody you love. 
and a pound from every one of these goes to Butterfly Conservation. It goes under the SMJ title uh, that I mentioned before, Stratford Midland Junction. It's to do with conservation, to do with uh, butterfly uh, conservation and uh, wildlife. So watch this. Okay, so this is how, if you bought this, it's 12 99 So if you bought it, this is how it would come. And hopefully you'll get to see in here, if I just try and make that look pretty for you. Um, see if that, see if you, see if you can see that. Look. I'll get out the box. The black background helps because you can see the, uh, maybe, can you see that? So what it is, look. It's a uh, silver key ring, and I believe this to be silver. I'm going to check out the exact material that it is, but this is it, it's 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 pretty heavy. It's uh, a good weight to it, um, and without doing a QVC style thing, it's just a pretty little keychain, um, which I'm hoping you can see there. Uh, you've got a little guitar, a little musical uh, symbol there, little little crotchet, whatever the hell it's called. There we go. Hey. And then this is a plectrum, um, plectrum, and it says on it, I pick, I pick, play our words, uh, I pick you always and forever. Then it's got a couple of little, tiny little hearty things. Let's see if I can get that to, yeah, there we go. There you go. A really pretty little thing. So that's $12.99 with the, with the gift packaging. A pound of that goes to, um, uh, butterfly research it'd be a little box like this um, and that's how it would come so if you know somebody who wants a little guitar gift that's for them um, I'm giving away five of them um, purely because I want some reviews I want to show people how good they are get get some get some uh, little bits of uh, 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 get some feedback on them and get the ball rolling so people get to know they're here so five five of those to give away so Basically, first five people, because it's right at the end of the video. I won't even mention it. I'll tell you what I'll do, is I won't mention the guitar picks at all. Um, so if you've got this far, don't tell anyone else. <laughs> and, uh, I'll see how many people ask for the free gift. So, so uh, you can have one, one each. There's five in total to give away. Um, just give me a good reason why you think someone you love might want, that's what we'll do. Why, why someone you love will appreciate the guitar pick, um, uh, the guitar pick chain, keychain. And, um, and my last bit of news, oh, I can't believe I didn't tell you about this. Oh my God. First, discontinued my favorite parlor guitar about a year ago. And I was extremely upset with them. And I think they've realized just how in demand the guitar actually was because they just relaunched it. So um, there you go. That is the first blue. It used to be called the, uh, whatever it is, but now it's called First Blue Parlor. Okay. Um, and it's absolutely, pardon it's not quite cheap. Listen to that. You just. Incredible, 899. Amazing. There you go, first blue parlor back in stock. I'm a massive fan of the G body and uh, thankfully they've listened and they've, they've, they've brought that back. There we go, okay, that's the update and um, considering I'm meant to be keeping it between five minutes, Tops, did I say? That video is nearly 20 minutes long. Okay, cheers, speak soon. Hope that, hope that gives you an overview anyway. Speak soon, bye.